Hello, my name is Megan Clark, and I'm a program coordinator at FIRST in Texas. We have created this video to walk you through the process of creating a new FIRST team for the 2017 through 2018 competitive season. You will begin by opening your web browser and navigating to www.firstinspires.org. If you are brand new to FIRST and do not have an account through FIRST Inspires website, click on Sign Up in the top right hand corner and follow the steps to create your profile. Once you have created your profile, you can click on Log In, at which point you will enter your email address and password and click Log In. This will take you to your dashboard view, which is where you can see all of the first teams with which you are associated. To create a new team, click the Create New Teams button in the top left. At this time, you will need to choose your role on the team. You have two choices, Team Administrator and Lead Coach slash Mentor 1. The Team Administrator role, previously called the Purchaser role, is a separate role from the Lead Coach slash Mentor for the team. They have limited access to team administrative functions. They can pay the team registration fees. They can invite a coach one or two. This can also be shared with the coach one or two role. So you can have the same person be a team administrator as well as one of your coaches. They can also invite other contacts. If you are a staff member at your school's district purchasing office and you are assisting teams in getting registered, this is probably the ideal option for you to choose. The second role you can choose is the lead coach slash mentor one. This role is intended to be for adults who coach the team directly and will typically be on site with the teams during their practices. They have full rights to all team administration changes, including payments and invites. They do have to clear the youth protection plan background check. They can also invite a coach number two and a team administrator. Again, this role can be shared with team admin. For the purpose of this video, I have selected the lead coach slash mentor one role. Now you can choose which first program you would like to create a team for. I'm going to do a quick glance at each of the options for all of the first programs, starting with First Lego League Junior. First Lego League Junior offers two options to teams for registration, including registering a single individual team or the season pass option. You can find more information about the season pass options at firstinspires.org. To make your selection, click on the Select and Continue button and choose the option that you would like. First Lego League also offers individual and season pass registration options. More information on the season pass option will be available in August 2017, and details will be available at firstinspires.org. For this video, I am selecting the individual team option, so I've chosen that choice from the drop down menu under the Select and Continue button. We'll also do a quick glance at the First Tech Challenge options. There's only one option here to select and continue to register an individual team. For first robotics competition, there are two choices. You can register as a veteran team or as a rookie team. More information is provided on this screen as well as at firstinspires.org. So we are going to move forward with our first LEGO League team individual registration. However, these screens apply to all options of programs. You will begin by entering your team name, which can be edited at any point in the future. You will also select your country and enter your zip code. At this point, it should auto-populate your city and your state, as well as auto-select your region. Please do not change your region assignment unless you have given, been given explicit instructions to do so. This assignment will make sure you are put in touch with the affiliate partner or regional director in charge of your region's events. Once you have entered this information, including answering the optional questions if you so choose, click on Next. Now you will be able to select your school slash organization type. I've selected family slash community for this demo team. However, there are multiple other choices available. If you select school or organization, you will see a drop-down list with choices. 
If your school or organization is not on the list, click on Add a new school or organization and enter the name of your school or organization. Click on Next to continue. At this point, since I've selected Coach 1 as my role, I have the option to select a second coach to send them an invitation to complete the registration process. If I had selected the team administrator role, I would see this option for lead coach number one. I can also at this time add a team administrator if I haven't done so already. You can also select, I will do this later at the bottom to skip this step and come back to it at a later time. Once you have finished, you will see the confirmation screen. This will show you your temporary team number and name and also provide you a button to return to your dashboard. Click on the blue button to return to the dashboard where you can pay your team's national registration fees. Please see our registration video for a walkthrough on that process. If you have any questions, please contact the first main office in New Hampshire at 603-666-3906. Thank you for watching this video.